My name is Gabor Ola. Um, I'm working as an IT manager at Euronics International. So that's a big uh, retail organization. We're selling electric uh, electronic products and we are part of a small administrative head office. We try to find efficiencies for all of our member organizations. We're present mainly in the EMEA region. So it's quite an interesting place to sell products. Yeah, so this is a retail group. So naturally, uh, what we see is that all of the independent organizations who are part of this, uh, this group, they have complete different stack, complete different way of uh, onboarding products, dealing with it uh, with more than 19 PIMs. It was quite challenging for us and there's a big need within the group to find a, find a good solution, which is also user friendly but easily uh, easy to integrate with the other components which are already there for all these organizations. So when we were looking uh, to find a solution, we, we had a couple of criteria, and uh, one big one was what I mentioned is the user experience for those who actually handle the data. Um, that was one thing where Akinio really stood out. Uh, also the community part, which we liked so much, and also what we experience here as well, that you really listen to both the partners, but also uh, to the customers. And the other aspect is the onboarding experience and how you can actually take the data from different systems and be kind of a hub to collect everything um, from the basic product information all the way to uh, dynamic media and other aspects which are very important for the customers but also for the internal teams. Yeah, so in our business um, we have um, brick and mortar business mainly historically, that's, that's our DNA. And when uh, COVID hit, uh, there was a big trend towards catering for different online uh, channels and, and way of reaching customers which were not there before and you need to have an agile environment which will support that. So I think that's the most important part to answer your question. So what we see is that uh, we have new products coming in, new categories. There are some aspects like health and well-being which are uh, becoming important and that's a completely different way of uh, uh, a need to actually uh, present those products and, and give good product experience and support the whole customer journey uh, to, leave, to deliver all the aspects of the products to the customers for, so that they can make the best choice and also have sort of an emotional attachment to the products. Yeah, I think you need to start to listen to the customers and then based on that, you can actually look and see how they shop, what are the customer journeys and then kind of reverse engineers back, that back to the processes, how you uh, actually treat the product where do you store that? What are the aspects what you need to onboard in order to yeah, cater for all those channels? I think back then I was uh, quite interested in marketing, actually. My brother was a, uh, or is a marketing strategist and it was quite interesting for me. And then somehow I ended up with data because in order to make good decisions there, you need to have objective facts. So yeah. I don't know, maybe later on I will, I will look into marketing as well, but it turned out to be like this. Congratulations, by the way, for the 10 years. <laughs> <laughs>